Hey guys, how are you doing? Some users on their iPhone or iPad, when they navigate to settings, they can see that the uh, profile section, the iCloud or account profile section is blurred out and they are unable to access it. So if you are experiencing similar issue on your iPhone or iPad, then all you have to do is navigate to, uh, you know, scroll down a little bit to the, in the settings page and navigate to screen time and scroll down a little bit to access the restrictions, content and privacy restrictions restrictions and then you have to turn it off if you are not sure why this toggle is turned on or why you have turned it on in first place like if you're not using the content and privacy restrictions of screen time then this settings include various restrictions that you can put on your system services and apps you know across your iphone or ipad so after turning off you can see that i'm able to navigate inside it is not blurred out my profile page is visible and clear and now i'm able to navigate inside for some reasons if you are using the screen time feature and the content and privacy restrictions then make sure that you haven't disabled the accounts section allow changes to accounts then you can set it to allow and you can take control of other content and privacy restrictions as per your requirement and this will not affect your profile access okay so within the settings iCloud profile it will be still visible so only if you have accidentally changed it without understanding what it is going to do for some privacy and you know security reasons that you want to restrict certain services then accidentally you have restricted this section from you know getting accessed then this is the way you can fix settings iCloud profile is not able to click or accessible or blurred out on your iPhone or iPad normally in my case you know both the iPhone or iPad if I use the content and privacy restrictions I normally take control of the apps that you know the permission to install the apps so navigate inside the iTunes and App Store purchases if you are giving your iPhone or iPad to your kids and you don't want them to install some games or applications randomly from the App Store it is not easy of course to install it without your permission you know without your apple id and password but you know based on the timeout settings or the free application settings you know users can still install the app quickly if you have recently logged in or authenticated on the app store to download some applications so in this case if you're giving the phone to your kids and you want to take control of the app installation navigate inside the itunes and app store purchases and you can disallow you know don't allow the app store installation permissions so also you can don't allow from you know people to deleting your apps without your permission so require password you can always set it to always require to force app store asking your password uh, every time when you try to download whether it is free or paid applications so this will definitely help and another one is important thing is like kids accidentally purchase some uh, in-app games coins or tokens so that sort of things can be prevented just by changing these settings you don't have to you know turn on all other settings so each setting here will do a big change a privacy related change on your iPhone or iPad so make sure to understand it when you navigate inside read the description and then perform the change according to what you actually required to be changed on your iPhone or iPad I hope this clarification helped you to understand and fix the iCloud or settings profile uh, being blurred out thank you so much for watching for more useful iPhone iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day